Hello Cancer and welcome to Healing Dove Tarot. Cancer, we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 19th to the 26th of December. Um, it's really interesting energy here for you, although I'm not surprised because we do have the full moon in your sign on the 22nd or the 23rd, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and that's, it's going to be a bit of an energy shift for almost every sign, but Cancer, obviously you're going to feel it the most. What's interesting is that this particular full moon has a connection to um, the 1st of January. So whatever was happening for you in your relationship on the 1st of January, um, whatever you were going through, whatever you're feeling then, I feel like that cycle's ending for you. And Cancer, as we start off this week or this period, the 19th to the 26th, you have the card of the Three of Swords. So um, for me, I'm feeling like what's interesting is I always like to look back um, at the history and I'm feeling like for some of you it's been quite a trying year when it comes to your connection right you've got the princess of swords so that can be someone it's just very cutting with their words like straight to the point then you've got the card of judgment resurrection and three of swords so I feel like even though I tend to look at the bottom of the deck to get an idea of how you're coming into this period I feel like this is showing me kind of how you're coming into this full moon if that makes sense now the reading is for the period of the 19th to the 26th. However, as I say in a lot of my videos, time is fluid, right? So time is we understand it in our concept of time and how we've created time as a structure and a way of means for controlling our day to day. It's not the same when it comes to spirituality and energy. Um, and I feel like this is pretty much showing me that, as I said, you're ending that cycle. Now, for some of you, you could be in a relationship with a, um, an Aries. A Capricorn, a Scorpio, or a fellow Earth sign. I'm also getting Leo here. So a lot of you dating um, fire energy or potentially another water sign. What's interesting though, as I said, I'm seeing the energy shift for you, okay? So as you come into this period of the 20th, 21st, 22nd, you have the Emperor coupled with the Devil. So I think what's really interesting is I think Gemini had these cards kind of pop out in the same order. So potentially maybe Gemini means something to you. It could be your rising, your moon. It could be that this is your partner's rising or moon. Um, for the Gemini reading, I was reading this as the boss and feeling controlled by the boss. But for you, I feel like it's very different. I feel like this is um, sort of how you felt like this year has been, really trying to keep control um, and, and find the, the happy medium in something that might have felt a little bit um, restrictive and constrained in your relationship. And what's really cool about that is that you have the Ten of Pentacles at the base. So for me, this speaks about in traditional tarot that the card itself is illustrated as that, like a happy family sitting all together, um, being joyful and abundant. And, you know, Pentacles speaks about abundance coming in, um, a windfall, an inheritance, something like that. It could just be that you are very grounded in your relationship now, Cancer. It's back to being what it was before the 1st of January. It's back to being even because, you know, I see it balanced here. I see you getting out of that controlling situation. And for some of you cancers, I feel like either you were trying to control the situation. Maybe um, you were projecting things that weren't there or vice versa. But that cycle is definitely ending for you. As you come into um, the period of Christmas, Christmas Eve, I have the Six of Swords coupled with death. So again, this is energy of transformation. So just once you get past that full moon, like I said to you, you're going to feel an energy shift. OK, and this is not just in your romantic partnerships. This will be across all partnerships. So we're talking um, friends, family and any anyone that you love, like any kind of intimate relationships. Right now, um, the Six of Swords is a card that often is talked about. Oh, you're moving on to karma waters. Um, I hate that terminology. What it is, is it's, it's a rebirth, okay? Do you see the, the little um, baby at the top? I love these cards, they're so cool. But it's really showing me that you're having a resurrection when it comes to your love life. And Cancer, if I have a look back at your readings um, before I started splitting singles and couples, 
what, what was it? Yeah, great week for love and money, money kind of coming in abundance. And also about dedicated effort, being, bringing the, the kind of love and the connection that you desire. This is showing me that you've done the work, okay? You've put in the hard work to try and find that balance again within your partner. And for some of you, it's meant um, actually owning up to maybe mentally coming across the, the wrong way. Maybe, um, you know, how you've been acting has had an effect on your partner. I feel like this year has been a very trying year for cancers in couples. It's been a very trying year financially, okay? And that financial strain, that pressure that it's put on your relationship has kind of changed the dynamic. It's what's made you feel a little bit constrained and, and bonded and, and restricted with each other, which is what in turn has caused a lot of the tension that actually wasn't there because at the base of it, you know, you have, there's, there's love, there's reciprocity, there's harmony. It's all changing cancer. I know you can just, I feel like saying to you, I want to actually say to you, just take a deep breath, like a big, because it's all letting, it's all shifting. It's all about to let go. It's all about to change. And yet if, it, if this is making sense for you, then, you know, you're going to start to find strength again and harmony. Um, this is the card of Leo. So maybe um, a Leo is prominent, but I think it's more about finding strength within your connection with your partner. Um, just be careful as you get to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, um, even though you consciously are moving away and you're transforming cancer, you're going to feel, um, you not going to, you could feel a little bit defensive about whatever it is that you've had to take on this past year, like that, that energy shift before you go through any transformation, right? There's always a little bit of a bump or a challenge. Let me put it to you this way. And, um, after this full moon energy, literally Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, whatever the stresses are leading up to that, um, you could just get to that point where you've had enough of everyone's shit and you could just be like, no, not taking that, not doing that, rah, rah, rah. And you get, and you get into your little cancer crab um, dance, the cancer crab dance, right? Try not to be so short, okay? If you can. Just, you know, it's it's funny, I was chatting to my mum the other day who is a cancer, um, beautiful soul, and we were talking all about stressing about things you can't control and how both of us in our mindset have shifted that energy. She still isn't meditating. Mum, if you're watching this, please start meditating. But um, <laughs> we were talking about exactly this and how things like uh, the house isn't clean, isn't up to that standard or... I haven't had chance to, you know, take the dogs to have their, their bath or their injections or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a, a state of perfection. Okay. Christmas isn't about perfection. It's about a coming together and celebrating in harmony, the people that you love and that love you in return. Universe and angels, messages and guides. Can I please have an additional card? That's too many. An additional card for the sign of cancer cancer couples from the 19th to the 26th one card please what's the most important message they need to know from the 19th to the 26th thank you so much a leg up 34 I like this card it actually ties in with what I was saying which is pretty neat um, okay so the keywords of this card are receiving help, <laughs> delegating authority and the interdependence. Kanza, if you're struggling at Christmas to plan everything together, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask your family, whoever it is that's coming to your Christmas feast, however you're celebrating, even if you don't celebrate and you're spending time with people away and Christmas isn't your thing, don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as much as you are there for them. Isn't that true, Cancer? This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs and to ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust, you will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind though. Ask and it is given. That was your reading, Cancer. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and I'll be back with you next week.